What do you? Yeah. What What is your system? Like, what are you actually oh, running? God. Okay, are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! It can't be that bad, surely. Like, what, what am I preparing okay, for? Okay. Uh, so, I am running. Okay. A 2018 Mac Mini. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good start. Okay. 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 With an eGPU. Okay. If, um, some Radeon Pro W's um, 6600 graphics card. Right? Okay. And you probably don't. It doesn't sound that cursed so far, right? And you're right. It isn't that cursed, right? But what I will say, um. Um, E2 Linux, right? Because this version of the Mac Mini does have a T2 chip, okay. right? I don't know if you're aware of what that is. I'm aware, but feel like you... if you just explain for anyone who might not be. Okay, so the T2 chip, um, you can think of it as sort of like Apple's a weird security chip or like, you know, a version of the secure enclave that you will find on like an iPhone or Macs. And what it does is it handles like various functions, including... Um, I think it has some part to do in Secure Boot, and then it also has some other crap to do with, um, what was it? Dis disencryption. So disencryption is also handled for the chip. Now, that doesn't sound too bad, right? But you know what else is also handled through the T2 chip? As far as I know, it could be totally wrong, but this is like what I remember from last time I was trying to get this to work mm -hmm. a while ago. Audio. What? Wait, yeah, what? so if you want to use the if you want to use the headphone jack, right? On you know, like I have external speakers and I want to plug that into my Mac Mini, right? Right. I could be totally wrong. Maybe I'm misremembering. Audio is handled through the T2 chip. What? Which <laughs> yeah. I'm definitely finding yeah, no, I'm finding people complaining about issues being caused by uh like audio professionals complaining about the T2 chip. What? Yeah, no, it's it's horrible. So I tried, like, when I was trying to... So there's drivers. Right. right? There's, like, an audio driver, which I think uses the T2 chip, you know, mm -hmm. for the head jack, for headphone audio. But this is really... But the driver, like, I... Honestly, like, I, I feel bad for whoever wrote that driver, right? But um, it just, like, when I load it and when I use that output, mm -hmm. like, audio just chops up all the time. The entire system somehow manages to like slow down significantly and maybe that's just my curse you know other curse things i'm running here but mm -hmm. yeah so you know what i did instead uh instead i just have display port connected to like USB C on here and then i'm just routing audio through my monitor and then using the headphone jack on my monitor because you can pass audio through display display port and passing that to my external speakers which <laughs> is what, cursed what are you but saying works, right <laughs> Um, the other thing I have to do, because this setup is cursed, right? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Right, um, so, I have an ultra-wide monitor, okay? Fair enough. Because I did, um, a friend of mine, right, like, I don't know how their desk was not very great, and the monitor was really heavy, and apparently it was causing their desk to break. And I was like, you know, I'll buy it off of you. Okay. Right, so was, I got it for a really good deal. Right, and... What happened um, is I, you know, I was just so excited. I plugged it in, you know, to my desktop, right? Mm -hmm. And this ultra wide one monitor is, you know, supposed to have, it's also supposed to be able to run at like 120 hertz, right. right? And I plugged it in and I was like, you know, full resolution. I was like, hey, why is this locked at only 60 hertz, mm -hmm. right? So it turns out the display port controller on the Mac Mini, pretty old. Right. Fair enough. Yeah, it's 2018 um, model. So I, I, yeah. So I, I just. So what I'm doing instead is I have an eGPU, which is connected to the Mac, right? And then I'm just connecting the display to that eGPU. But in order to get that eGPU to work, right? Uh -huh. I had to install some like custom EFI, like or not EFI, like some custom bootloader that would chain load my actual bootloader because apparently there's some restriction. Like on, like there's some you spoof. You have to spoof the eGPU when you're on Linux for some reason. Uh -huh. or there was some weird thing. I don't know. Apple's weird. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like it. So all 
And then, you know, you also have to run like a custom kernel right. if you're running T2 Linux regardless. But it's not good. Um, it works, though. I'm surprised it works. Uh, I am but... as well. <sighs> I... It's certainly Honestly, a setup. I should... <laughs> Look, I mean, it's... Um... At, at the end of the day, if it functions, I guess that's something. <laughs> functions is the way to put it. <laughs> yeah. Um <laughs> So that's you know that's um entire thing. Mm -hmm. I honestly I should probably just build like a proper PC next time, right? Really? But, like this setup this setup <laughs> This setup works for now. I presume so I presume the only reason you have it is because you've had the Mac Mini for a while. Like you didn't go out of your way. Yes. Yeah, I was gonna say Yeah, that. no, no, I I would not I'm not um you know I'm not a masochist in that sense. Right. right. Okay. Yeah, I'm not good. Well, you know, it isn't my sort of pleasure to be like, hmm, what I can do to torture myself today? I'm going to go to Apple.com, order a 2018 specifically Mac Mini. Oh, yeah, and also an ultra wide and eGPU and just get all of this to work. Yeah. Hmm. But, um. <laughs> and all of that too. Yeah, I. To play Holocure. Uh, and it doesn't even work well. 